Hi everyone, this is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. We are a small privately owned psychic service. We book psychic readings by phone. We have excellent readers who work with us. We specifically look for clairvoyant readers. Some of them use tarot cards, some are psychic mediums. It just depends on what you're looking for. We have excellent readers who work with us. We do know them personally, and we look for really nice, caring, kind individuals who can help you out. If you have any kind of life issue or situation, just call us at 1-800-966-2294. We would love to help you. Sorry it's been a little bit since my last YouTube video. Things have been a little bit hairy here. We've been um, just working really hard on our website and just different things coming up. So we're kind of excited about that. Um, but we're also really excited about uh, just spreading more information. And we're also really excited about how many, what positive um, things have happened with YouTube. We actually have a lot of followers and we're really, really proud that everybody's here. We're really excited and we want to say thank you so much for um, all of your interest and questions. We really do appreciate it. I know that I personally look at every single comment um, and I try to respond to them as soon as I can. So if you ever have any issues or questions, please uh, go ahead and comment or call us at 1-800-966-2294. Um, I wanted to actually approach different things because people ask us all the time about psychic abilities and whether or not they have psychic abilities. Um, there are many different types of psychic abilities. Um, some people get visions, some people get hunches, some people have, um, you know, they can hear things. It just kind of depends on, you know, where you are and just different things that happen. Um, and it also depends on your ability yourself and what you're paying attention to. So we always want you to be sure to take some time and pay attention to whatever sort of thing your intuition is saying, because we do think that you should take it seriously. Um, we also want you to know that as you get older, your intuition generally does tend to get a little bit stronger in some cases. Um, so know that um, it's a lifelong journey and it's something that is will always be with you. Um, you know, you may or may not be paying attention to it all the time. Um, my cat just came in here, so I had to look back there, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about some common things that come up um, with um, just some signs that you have psychic abilities. Um, there are different numerous types, as I said, and if you think you're a psychic, um, taking the time to learn your abilities and to learn about yourself is a journey. It's something that never ends. Um, there's different parts of the journey. You may take a step forward and then five steps back and then three steps forward and then 10 steps forward and then three steps back. It just kind of works like that. Um, and it's just part of uh, just exploring all of your abilities and who you are and what's going on and how you can use them for yourself. Um, so one of the first signs of psychic abilities that people notice um, is actually their intuition. It can come through as a, just a gut feeling or a hunch. Um, we always strongly encourage listening to your intuition. Your intuition is your sixth sense. It, it always has your best interest in heart. Um, there is a lot of things that come up with the confidence of using your intuition and really learning to listen to your intuition. Um, that is very, very important. And as I said, it is, you know, a lifelong journey is as you get more confident, that will definitely help you listen to your intuition. Um, and learning to listen to your intuition is, can, can actually save your life. It can keep you safe. It can warn you about different people. Um, it can warn you about just things coming up or just, you know, if you have a hunch, something will happen. Um, we want you to just definitely listen to those um, because that is very, very important. Your intuition is there to protect you. It is your sixth sense. And it's something that um, you definitely can evolve over time to really listen to it and to develop more of a psychic ability. Um, we also want you to think of if you ever have any visions. Um, visions can come through very strong or they can just be a really quick flash. Um, visions happen in your mind and they can come true in a real life situation. Um, there may be, you know, maybe really, really quick. It might be, you know, a little bit of a daydream type of thing. Um, but we definitely want you to listen to or to watch and, and to really visualize your visions to see if you're um, correct and or if you get deja vu or something like that coming up a little bit further down the road. Um, so if you definitely if you have any visions, um, they can be a little bit scary or intense. Um, but we don't want you to be scared of your intuition and your psychic abilities because we do think that they are a gift. But just know that if you're a little scared, that's a little natural, you know, going into this. And it's just, you know, as if you think about life in general, sometimes we're all a little bit scared. So that's okay. It's just part of the journey. Uh, your dreams can be a very strong indicator of psychic abilities. Um, dreams can be very vivid, you know, very vivid. Um, they can, um, there's a lot of different types of dreams. Um, but you usually know when there's a dream that is um, very meaningful because it does make an impact on your feelings, your emotions, um, your, you know, how you feel about a certain situation. 
Um, your dreams are very powerful in general, and we do recommend that you do journal your dreams so you can look back on your dreams and see maybe what's going on, you know, with yourself and also what's going on with your psychic abilities and see if they come up in there. Um, you know, we want you to really, really record everything that you possibly can. Um, and that actually goes through with your intuition and also with your visions too, is if you have anything that's coming through really, you know, kind of that you feel is kind of big or you feel is meaningful, go ahead and journal and write that down. Um, or, you know, or type it out, however you do your journaling. Um, and then you can, some people would actually even do artwork of their, of their, you know, feelings or their intuition or their journey, because, you know, so there's just a lot of different ways to express it. And we want you to go ahead and encourage whichever way you feel most comfortable, go ahead and do it that way. Um, sometimes you get, um, peripheral visions. If you have, it's as a sign of a psychic ability, um, it could be a pop of color, a flash of light, um, a shadow in your, in your peripheral vision. That's your vision on the outside that you're not necessarily looking directly at. There can just be like a little, you know, thing kind of in the side. Um, if that happens, sometimes it can, it can signify that there's maybe a spirit near. Um, so we want you to pay attention to that because you, you, there could be spirits trying to help you communicate. So that's exciting. Um, it could also just be that you might have a spirit guide or something that's close to you um, that is maybe just there with you, maybe giving you some comfort or presence, you know, somehow. We always recommend when you ever have something like that to be sure to, you know, look around and observe what is really happening near you because there really could be some psychic symbols there that could symbolize maybe a loved one who's crossed over or maybe something um, something meaningful for you. And we just really want you to pay attention to that because that can be very can be very powerful. So if you ever have any visions in your side, in your peripherals, you know, take a moment and look around to see, you know, what you're feeling. Uh, also, if there's anything out there that is a psychic symbol, because that can definitely help. And it's very comforting when you get a psychic symbol like that. Um, many people who are new to psychic abilities and or actually who have psychic abilities find certain uh, levels of energy and certain types of energy almost not tolerable. So if there's somebody with really imbalanced energy or somebody who is extremely stressed or different things like, you know, really kind of, or even a negative type energy person, they don't necessarily know this, but certain types of energy can really, really be dragging on people with psychic abilities. If you're an empathic, you can pick up on that energy that can be bad. Um, or negative. Um, if you're really psychic, you know, you can get these visions from other people. Um, you know, if you're, if you're in that situation where you're picking up on somebody else's energy and they're in your personal space, learning how to block that energy is very, very important. But it's also, you know, it's um, learning how to control the energy, you know, as you become more confident will actually help you too. There may or may not always be certain types of energy that other people bring into your life that you cannot handle. And it's important to be able to have boundaries with that too. So go ahead and know that if you have boundaries with that, that is totally okay until you get to a certain, you know, until you feel more comfortable. Um, seeing lights and colors around a living being is another sign of energy or, or another sign of psychic ability. Um, many people see colors as a psychic gift and these colors around the people are actually their auras. Um, you could be a natural aura reader, which is amazing. That is such a beautiful thing to have. Um, if it's in their energy field, not everybody, you know, energy fields, not everybody sees that. Um, so if you have that gift, that's really, really, you know, a really beautiful and spiritual thing too. Um, deja vu is very common around people who have psychic abilities. And I don't know if it's necessarily that they've experienced it before, but maybe they have dreamt a certain situation or they felt a certain situation. And then they, all of a sudden they feel like they're in the situation when it's happening. And, um, it's kind of a weird feeling, but deja vu is definitely a sign of psychic ability. Um, if you have a strong sense of familiarity of a situation, um, if you feel like you've been there before, if you look around and you're, you know, just noticing that you've seen this situation before, that's deja vu and it is a sign of psychic abilities. Um, animals have strong connections to people with psychic abilities um, and empaths. You know, they really, you know, as animals do communicate with humans all the time. Um, they observe and figure out how to communicate and deal with the humans in their lives. Um, they like, that's why a lot of animals are around us, like our dogs and cats, as you probably just heard my dog. Um, but basically is um, people who have psychic abilities, they're more, you know, more connected and generally a little bit more connected with nature in general. Um, even, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's a domesticated animal or a 
um, non-domesticated animal or wild animal. Um, there's just different ways that um, animals do recognize people with psychic abilities. You know, people can report that crows will follow them, um, that horses just, you know, love them, or, you know, just the cats come up to them. Those are all signs of psychic abilities. And you do, I always, you know, want you to honor that, but I also want you to honor the animal for recognizing it too. Um, not necessarily petting it, specifically if it's a wild animal, I want you to be safe. But just notice, you know, just just honor that and, and be sure to protect whatever animal that is if possible. Um, because, you know, they're noticing something about you and it's nice to notice something about them too. Um, children and, you know, young children and babies are very, very susceptible to spirit and psychic abilities. Um, as people get older, sometimes they don't... Um, they don't pay attention as much to their psychic abilities and or they're told maybe it's not okay or there could just be different spiritual things that come up that kind of lead, lead the children away from, you know, being, you know, having psychic in their daily lives. Um, so it just kind of depends on um, the kid. But basically, we want you to, if you have children around you who are very open to energies and spirit and psychic abilities, um, we want you to encourage them, um, you know, in a non-scary way. There's got to be ways, you know, you don't want to scare them, but you definitely want them to recognize that it's okay because they're so close to the spirit world as kids and babies that they do still have that energy open to them. And there, you know, is, is you know, is, there was a story in my family that one of my aunts, um, her, um, her child, I think was around four years old, and was sitting on the end of the bed and she was talking, you know, to spirit. Um, and um, she thought that the, her grandmother was around and it was a really, really beautiful thing. And, and the thing is, is that we do believe that the grandmother was around and was talking to this child, this young baby. So, you know, it's, it's definitely, um, because they're so close to the spirit world physically, it can make it a little easier for spirit to communicate with them. So that is really, really neat. Um, a lot of kids that have imaginary friends, that can actually be like a spirit guide that's with them. Um, it's really, really, really neat that children are so susceptible to psychic abilities. We don't want you to scare the kids or the babies because obviously that can be a little scary if you're, you know, if you're a parent. But, it, you know, so we want you to honor it because they're being honest with us too. Um, some people with psychic abilities, they uh, their sense of smell or hearing is part of their abilities. So if you are, you know, if there's a certain smell that like brings up an immediate reaction to you, uh, definitely pay attention to that. Um, certain sounds um, can definitely help awaken psychic abilities. Um, chimes and stuff like that can definitely help. But, you know, there's just different things that can just bring up um, your intuition and definitely bring uh, psychic abilities for, to the forefront. And we want you to pay attention to that too. That can definitely be a sign of psychic ability. Um, another thing that's really um, important to recognize with people of psychic abilities is that people are really drawn to you. Um, if many people are kind of drawn to you, even if like, let's say you're even an introvert and there's a lot of people that are just drawn to you, if you're an extrovert, you know, you have people drawn to you, um, you know, maybe they, they trust you as a listening ear. Maybe they trust you just in general. They think your energy is good. Um, that's usually a sign from other people that you have psychic abilities, even if you're not really paying attention to it. Um, so if you're somebody who's a little bit magnetic, um, definitely check into your psychic abilities because you likely have them. Um, anyway, I hope that everyone is doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful day or week or whatever is going on in your life. And I, um, if you need a reading, please call us at 1-800-966-2294. Uh, take care and have a wonderful day.